Hey, Tom here over at YourTrueChange.com. Uh, back to the top five spot. Uh, on the top five spot, uh, we're going to include a lot of book reviews, uh, specifically personal development book reviews um, on uh, how to improve basically in all aspects of your life. A lot of it's going to be business focused. Uh, of course, you know me, I'm really big on networking. So, networking, networking, training. And uh, I've read a lot of networking books and a lot of networking articles, and um, I found the most helpful and useful and most in-depth uh, by far uh, tends to be uh, Keith Ferrazzi's Never Eat Alone and Other Secrets to Success, One Relationship at a Time. It's a great book. Uh, if you haven't read it, I definitely recommend uh, going and checking it out. Uh, it's excellent. Basically, what it's about is, you know, Keith Ferrazzi is a guy who, you know, grew up in a small Pennsylvania town. Uh, he was in, he grew up uh, to a factory worker, uh, um, you know, family. Uh, and, you know, basically, never really had much. And he really willed his way to becoming one of the top marketers uh, in all industry. And he lives in Los Angeles. You know, he's got all kinds of parties taking place at his house every week uh, where he um, wines and dines, Hollywood types, business tycoons. He's been the CEO of multiple um, you know, tech companies. And he really attributes everything to the fact that uh, what he had that a lot of people uh, did not uh, weren't just you know, his uh, smarts and um, you know, all, all that kind of like you know, protege, Ivy League resume and all that. But what really set him apart was his ability to network and, and his, his ability to um, go ahead and go ahead and connect people and uh, he really gets into great detail in this book uh, that you know really what it's all about and your most valuable asset by far is your network and your ability to put your network in touch with each other okay so one of course creating that network and then two putting them in touch with each other and I have five things uh, that I kind of uh, take away personally uh, most from the book that I like the most uh, one of course is with a network Build it before you need it. This is so important. Um, so many people, uh, basically, they either get fired, let go from their job, they quit their job, whatever, and the next thing you know, they're trying to meet with people and to to network, and they're basically asking for jobs. They're going to conferences looking for jobs, and that is the absolute last place you want to be in. You want to be in a position where when you either don't like your job anymore or you either uh, get let go or you're in a situation where you're on the outs. You want people to be there for you to call where there's a very good chance that they'll be able to set something up for you, okay? Um, and the way you do that is you build your network first, okay? You always have to be networking, meeting new people, being in touch with people, researching who it is in the industries and the fields that you want to meet. Uh, who who are the influencers? Who are the power connectors? Okay, um, going after people that that you know might be able to help you, and don't go with the intention of asking now. Go with just getting to know them and being friendly with them, and you know giving stuff to them, and then maybe down the road later, you know when when it's time, they'll you know say, hey, you know this person has put a lot into the relationship bank account and has been a good friend to to me and all that and maybe now it's my my time to get back right so that's how networking works number two of course is don't keep score and this goes into kind of my first point always just do stuff for people help people out offer to help people out offer to write recommendations offer to put people together offer to write that intro email offer to coach somebody uh, you know over a cup of coffee offer to go out for a cocktail and hear someone's story or to be there even just as a friend because you know you just simply don't know um, I mean, I can't like 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 I can tell you I got a client uh, last week. Uh, it was somebody uh, who was referred to me uh, by a by a former boss of a friend who I met one time and I listened to her sob story. Okay, um, you, you just simply never know. Okay, so don't keep score. Always go out and try to do stuff for people and make it a point and don't immediately expect them to do stuff back for you right away okay or even in 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 you know the short term okay it's not it, it's not a symmetrical process unfortunately uh, three build your own brand this is so important um, you know in today's day and age you know you are the brand 
not your company, okay? Not the products you sell, not the firm you're with, not the services necessarily you provide to you. People buy you. They don't necessarily buy the services or the brand or the products. Of course they buy the, the products and the services. But there are so many options out there, okay? They can choose, you know, they, yeah, they might need a lawyer, but they can choose 10,000 other law firms, okay? Or 10,000 other dentists or 10,000 other, you know, um, personal trainers, okay? Sometimes it's simply about convenience and good marketing. Other times it's because you build a relationship with them, okay? So build your brand, okay? Be out there. Utilize social networks, especially LinkedIn, Facebook, okay? Um, get on YouTube. Um, get yourself out there. Get known. Write ebooks, write e-courses. Offer to write free articles. Offer to give speeches. People want to know your name. Say, oh, hmm, okay? Okay, don't just be all about your profession or your company. It's you, and you are who they're buying, okay? Number three, this is really interesting here. Find anchor tenants, okay? Uh, and this goes into the concept of warming up to the cone call. What's an anchor tenant? Somebody within an industry, or maybe say attached to an industry, that could possibly give you introductions to key people or key players. So, of course, you don't always go, you know, if you want to get in touch with some big shot at Sony, okay, uh, you're not going to, the chances are it's going to be very hard unless you already have a connection to get in touch with them. But if you know a couple degrees away, you can offer to take them out for coffee or a cocktail and meet with them, stay in touch with them, send cards to them, okay. Um, you know, this is not taking advantage, people. This is, this is simply how the world works, okay. This is how everything works. This is how Wall Street works. This is how Washington works. This is how Hollywood works, okay. So, you might as well apply it to the smaller micro version as well because if other people are doing it and and they're getting a you know big competitive edge and so should you okay find those anchor tenants okay and what and then what happens is suddenly um, when you know you get a call from someone and they need an intro to somebody next thing you know you know somebody a few degrees away okay from somebody else you can, you can then put them in touch with them okay someone need, needs a new lawyer someone needs a new accountant someone needs a low cost whatever okay boom you look like it like a rising star hero you just suddenly got a big deposit in your networking bank account next time that you need a favor from that person boom it's yours okay and number five okay networking should be a part of your daily routine okay sharing your passion okay um, what I mean is you know networking should be natural the same way as brushing your teeth taking a shower um, okay you know, changing your kids' diapers, it shouldn't be something that you look at as a chore or as a job. It should be something that you should naturally do, um, okay? So do what you normally do by just talking, socializing to people. Uh, do, um, you know, join clubs and conferences uh, and groups uh, that you're interested in so you can have a conversation and genuinely care, um, whether it's a non-for-profit, whether it's a sports league, okay? So many opportunities all around to go and network and I really found that you know Keith Rossi's uh, book here uh, really did me a lot of wonders. I definitely recommend it to you. But those are my top five things about Never Eat Alone. Um, signing off, Tom McKeown, uh, www.yourtruechange.com. Until next time.